What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what's going on for you for this weekend. Scorps. Let's see what's going on. Let's be nosy. See what's going on for you this weekend, Scorpio. What is the tea? The juicy, juicy tea. The sweet, sweet tea. A uh, sweet whatever tea. Okay. The ice, the hot, the, the green, the brown, whatever. Let's, let's see. What's going on with Scorpio for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Please, Spirit, what's going on? Fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours, love is a battlefield, okay? What's going on with Scorpio for the weekend? Envy. Ooh, child. What's going on with Scorpio for the weekend? Salt or sugar? Well, damn. Hater. Hater. Well, to me, I got some little, got some little hateful energy happening. There's a, a situation where somebody, you know, has love for you or cares about you, has some sort of emotions for you. This makes somebody jealous or somebody is jealous or envious in some sort of way. Um, it says, be careful. They both look the same. Salt or sugar. Looks can be deceiving. Somebody may be looking at a situation like, oh, the way that person fights for you. That is so, so romantic. And you're like, honey, it's not as sweet as you think. Or like, this could be, somebody could be saying, hey, don't you want to fight for me? I see you being jealous. And you're just like, no. Something about you. I don't. Somebody think, honey, there is a hater amongst y'all this weekend. Let's see. What is going on? Sex shop. Could have to do with a sexual connection? Sex-based connection? What's fighting for what you love? Don't, for some reason, okay, don't idolize stuff on social media either. If y'all see like a couple or a situation or a connection or something like that, don't. Remember, it's okay to be like, oh, that's cute. That, they are adorable together. But you never know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know where that came from, but you know, what's fighting for what you love, Scorpio? What about fighting for what you love, child? A situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off up in flames. What did I just say? It's about to go down. They must be in there cooking some. My brother must be in there cooking some. Betrayal. I told you. See, you see, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. There is something where somebody's like fighting for a connection or a lover situation this weekend and shit's about to pop off. Somebody feels betrayed. They feel like somebody can't be trusted. Falling apart. Child, what the hell? Falling into pieces all torn up. Why? <laughs> okay. I just seen the vision I just seen was somebody just like a grown person like collapsing on the ground like ah, like crying and then like rolling back and forth so I don't know it's giving me grown ass toddler energy okay so <laughs> I don't know why I got that that vision but I don't know okay what's envy <laughs> Scorpio what's the envy from Scorpio child be careful <laughs> Oh my gosh police now for some of y'all this could represent justice but this could also represent the police being called so y'all be careful this weekend now this may not have nothing to do with y'all this could be outside of you but just in case be careful caught up it has something to do with somebody cheating somebody stepping out there could be evidence of somebody cheating <sighs> finding evidence getting caught in cheating yeah somebody getting <laughs> caught up so somebody got caught up or somebody's getting caught up. What's the solder sugar for Scorpio this weekend? Solder sugar for Scorpio this weekend. What y'all doing this weekend? Dang. A nightmare. Trash. Throwing away, getting rid of, and tossing out. Baby, listen. I don't know what the fuck is going on this weekend. But somebody tripping. Okay. 
And y'all forgive me for laughing, but dang, like, you know, you got to laugh sometimes. Sometimes you got to laugh through the pain, okay? Because, honey, some stuff just be like, okay. <laughs> There's a situation where somebody feels like they need to fight for love or fight to be with somebody, right? But some about to blow up, okay? And the reason some about to blow up, because somebody will find out somebody cheating or there's somebody on the side. There's an envious energy here. Cops could possibly get called, okay? Or this is some sort of justice playing out, because police is my justice card. Now, somebody is finding out that they thought someone's going to be sweet, but it's not. No, no, no. It's salt, okay? It's a nightmare. It's a complete nightmare. Something's not turning out the way that they thought it was. They feel like it, it's just gone to shit, okay? That's how I'm going to put it. So, let's see. What is this about? Child, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, what's going on? This is the Truth Rising deck. Y'all, I'm looking on Etsy as we speak tonight to look for another deck of cards. So, I'm about to order another one. What's fighting for what you love with a situation about to explode? What is that about? Someone doesn't want to be seen. Okay. Why? Fighting for what you love. A situation about to explode. Energy interference. Oh, okay. Because somebody's manipulating something. So, someone doesn't want to be seen and then energy interference. So, somebody's basically manipulating something this weekend. It's like they fighting for what they love, right? Claiming, oh, you're mine. We're together. Boop, 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 right? But the way that they're going about it, they're manipulating the energy or they're manipulating the situation, which means they're doing something behind the scenes that nobody else knows about to get their way, okay? And something's about to blow the fuck up. Yeah, because grass looks greener, but it's artificial because somebody thought that the grass was greener on the other side. So they were like, oh, I'm going to do this. So this could be a situation where Somebody thought another relationship would be better and they realized, okay, that's not where I want to be. I actually want to be with this person over here. So then they could be going back to that person and they could be trying to manipulate the situation. Woo child. Yeah. They could be trying to manipulate the situation. Look. Switching up. They're switching up on you. Someone needs to take care of their health. And so now somebody's like, somebody feels like somebody's switching sides on them. Like somebody feel like they switching sides. Somebody could be feeling betrayed here. Like somebody two-faced it. Like, nah, you not even. Let me go put a pinky in. Hold on, y'all. Okay. This could also be like mind games. And somebody feels like, you know what? I just want to focus on my mental. Um, because. It's too much going on. Like somebody's switching sides. Somebody's wearing. Somebody may feel like somebody's wearing a mask, or somebody wasn't being honest with them. What's fighting for what you love? Or this is how they're gonna feel. What's fighting for what you love for Scorpio for the weekend? Fighting for what you love for Scorpio. And this is why a hustler always hustling knows how to get what they want. That's because that's what they doing. Yeah. They, they playing mind games. They saying, doing whatever they need to. Like, um, causing some sort of interference in the energy. This is like, you know, mind manipulation, gaslighting, that type of energy. They're doing that so that they can get the outcome that they want or they can get something to go their way. In transition, shedding old layers. Yep. Somebody could be wanting to, to let go of this. Fancy living. Someone's used to living the good life. See, somebody's used to, like, living the good life, you know, having things their way. Um, but somebody's realizing they have to shed that. They have to let that go. They, they don't get to get the good life like that. I told you, because somebody, somebody's, like, wanting to win at all costs. This is, like, battle, battle mindset, right? But somebody's cutting ties with either this person or this energy. Like, they're like, okay, well, I can't be... I can't be fighting in this type of way or I can be trying to win at all costs like this by manipulating the energy, you know, because now somebody don't trust me. Now, you know, because now somebody done found me out, you know, because like me switching sides or me playing both sides, it's, it's making me look like I'm the enemy. You know, it's that type of energy that's coming out here. And it has to do with matters of the heart. Like somebody is literally looking at somebody like either you trash because of the way you treat me or like you trash because of the way you handle in a situation like somebody is literally ready to like chunk the shit and go 
Watch. What's the envy with the police car? What's envy with the police car? Envy with the police. Yeah, because somebody's waking up. It says, wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. There's somebody been doing black magic. Look, black magic. Someone's doing black magic and catfish. Someone's not who they appear to be. Child. All three dark cards, but somebody's waking up to this. Somebody's waking up and realizing and seeing the situation for what it truly is or a person for who they truly are. And that's justice. Somebody's waking up and realizing that somebody could be envious, you know, jealous. Um, and it could have to do with the third party cheating, scandalous type of situation. Somebody's waking up to that. Yeah, uh, sketchy. There's something off about them. Yep, somebody feels like somebody, you know, maybe a little sketchy. May not be able to be trusted. Single woman, not the committed type. Fog. Someone can't be can't see through a situation and emotional abuse. Yeah, this is somebody that feels like, you know, maybe they feel like they just need to be single because they can't see through a situation. Maybe they, for for some of you, this is someone who's already been through emotional abuse. Eleven eleven. I just seen on the phone. They've already been through emotional abuse. Abuse. So they're not going through that again. It's like, no, I've seen how this played out before. I'm not doing that. Or somebody just feels like they're they're being emotionally toyed with because somebody's doing black magic here. Somebody isn't. It's like somebody manipulated somebody's emotions, played on their emotions with that black magic energy. Somebody could have been doing spell work too, dark magic and stuff like that. Because now it's like, the, I'm telling you, it's like the mask is falling off. Somebody's seeing somebody for who they truly are. Like, damn, like you trifling. Like, oh, this is the type of person you are. Like, this is who you are. Wow. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. It's like somebody is waking up to um, to a person that they once knew, but the mask is off. What's the envy with the police car, please, spirit? What's that envy with the police car? Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Yeah. This could be a breakup. Soulmates. But the crazy thing is this could be soul contract, partnership, agreement. So a soul contract, soul partnership, and agreement. This could be a uh, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, somebody's going, somebody's going through like an awakening. <laughs> And somebody is seeing something for what the fuck it is. It's like, whoa, mind blown. Like, wow, you had me thinking this. You had me doing all of this because you tricked me. You made me think you were somebody you weren't. Or like, wow, all this time you was doing this and really you was this type of fucking person. Like, whoa. And some, it's like... This could also be like a, a jealous or envious person that's coming towards some child. Maybe you already broke up with this person or somebody broke up with somebody and the envious person is coming towards you or something. Honey, can I have another on the envy card with the police? I'm sorry. It's like, damn, like what the hell is going on here? The butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And it has a lot to do with somebody's healing here. So the more that somebody heals, the more somebody's starting to see something for what it truly is. Or see a person for who they truly are. Because maybe they ascend them. And as you ascend and as you rise up, you become more, like, awakened. And you start to really see, like, people can't hide behind masks no more. You're like, damn. Like, oh, you that, you that type of person. Oh, okay. And you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. Maybe somebody put some obstacles in your pathway to like block you from truly seeing their um, their intentions or what type of person they are. Like, you know, they could come off like love a girl type of energy and be like, yes, I'm a maybe they pretended to be like a, a damsel in distress. But really, they're like this hateful ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. Like, and you're like, what the fuck did I get into? I'm sorry, I only laugh. But have y'all ever had that happen? 
you end up being cool with somebody and you're like, oh my God, they seem so sweet. And then like they spaz the fuck out and you're like, we all have bad days, but damn, who the fuck is this? <laughs> anyway, keep going. What's the salt or sugar with the nightmare card for Scorpio for the weekend? Salt or sugar with the nightmare card for Scorpio for the weekend? I think I'm getting sleepy. That's why I'm laughing so much. You, you got evil eye. Someone is wishing bad upon you. Yeah, it's like, dang, what the fuck is going on? Salt or sugar with the nightmare card for Scorpio? Single woman, not the committed type. Okay, first of all, there is some... Somebody that's like, they got, and this, this could be the example that I just freaking gave. Like, you meet somebody, and you're like, wow, they're sweet. And then you find out that they evil as hell. This is somebody, it's like, the worst nightmare. It's like, somebody is sending you hate energy. Like, Pat's there, someone needs to get checked. For some of y'all, somebody could be sending, like, like spells. This could be negative energy. They could be spreading lies, like saying that you sleep around, you mess around, you do this, you do that. Like, it could be that type of energy. What's we'll salt or sugar with a nightmare card? Especially with that black magic. And, you know, spells are like lies and manipulation and gossip, too. Like, that's black magic, too. Like, trying to tarnish somebody's name, speaking ill will on them. Emotional abuse wanted to come out. Yeah, fog. And somebody can't see through it. It's like same-sex love. Some of y'all are dealing with the same sex. They're coming. Love, interest, angry person, new love. Or some of y'all are dealing with the same sex. Like, And maybe y'all not in a relationship together. But this could be another feminine or another masculine energy. If you're a masculine. Feminine if you're feminine. But somebody could be like sending some sort of negative energy. Or like bad energy. And like somebody is like is basically considered emotional abuse. Like, say somebody said, oh, that you have this person sleeps around with everybody, and then everybody's talking about you, and they're like, oh, my God, you sleep around? And it's, you know, and it stirs up. It's, it's emotional. It's like emotional abuse because it's like you're fucking with somebody's emotions. You got them highs and lows and making them feel some type of way, and you calling them a hoe, got them, you know, stressed out, people talking about them and stuff like that, unnecessary stuff. But somebody's coming towards you here or somebody's sending this energy towards you. What's the salt and sugar with the nightmare? What did I just say? Unwanted opinions. People giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. And then gaslight. Yeah, the X factor. It could be an X. Either of yours or somebody you're connected to. This person could be a little off, a little crazy, a little bipolar. Or this is what they're trying to do to you. They could be trying to gaslight you and make you go crazy. And it could have to do something with a uh, whole oh, child. It could have to do with a commitment to a stable man. We have stable men that got their ish together, marriage, and gamble taking a risk. It could have to do with some sort of marriage or co commitment. It could have to do with a stable man or, or masculine or feminine energy. Child, this weekend... Why the trash card? Let me clarify that real quick. Why the trash card? Somebody said, get the fuck away from me, Satan. Broken promises in reversal. Somebody's still keeping a promise. What's the trash card? What's the trash card? Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. So basically, somebody could be wanting somebody to toss somebody out. Yeah, or get rid of somebody. But look, look at these two cards. Fancy living and leveling up. Planning a secret escape. Fancy living is someone's used to living a good life and leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. So somebody could have tried to like do all of this to you and say that you was trash. Somebody should be fucking with you. Somebody need to get rid of you. Whoop, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. Only to find out, you know, all this gaslighting and manipulative energy, black magic and sending the evil eye and stank stuff. Somebody finally woke up to it and realized what was going on. And now somebody's realizing, no, nah, I'm going to keep this promise. Because the grass ain't green on the other side. I want to keep my person. I want to keep this connection. I want to keep this relationship because it's, it's good where I'm at. Why would I get rid of this? Somebody could have tried to show up like they were somebody that they weren't and was like, you know, no, maybe you should come over here. Or maybe you should come towards me. and Or maybe you should come towards this relationship. And somebody's like, but I actually like it here. This could, ooh, revengeful force and justice and karma. 
this could have to do with somebody wanting revenge on a person or a situation, and this could be somebody's karma. Scream, ghost extremes for attention. This could be somebody that's kind of like attention hungry, egotistic. They could be in their ego or acting out of their ego. They don't want to let go. Or they don't want they don't want somebody to choose somebody else. They don't want somebody to see that the grass is green on the other side. They could be doing this out of ego. It's like with, with this revengeful though, force and justice, somebody wants somebody feels like somebody is their karma. Good child. All right. I'm going to leave it there because, honey, I'm getting tired. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I'll do some more readings tomorrow when I get home from work. But as of now, I'm going to leave this here. Hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.